What's the deal, baby? Y'all didn't know it is the big boss, our boss dog, K Po through the door. Here to talk to this boxer. Your boy chilling at the house, man. Um, didn't go to work today, but I just wanted to talk about the capery of Bud Crawford, man, because this nigga was lying on that live yesterday. I mean, like, I, I, I re listened to it again, and he said something that I forgot to mention in another video. So he didn't mention Daniel Kennehan's name. But he talked about how PBC was just basically double checking to make sure he wasn't working with Daniel Kennehan. And he said that he never worked with dude. He don't know who dude is and all this other stuff. And that's a damn lie. Okay. Bob M already came out and said, hey, well, I think it was the Kilbrook fight. It was either the Kilbrook fight or the Amir Khan fight. One of those fights. He said that a contract, they was waiting on Bud with the contract. Because they was like, what is taking so long to sign the contract? And they sent the contract back two weeks before, you know, the fight or whatever it was. It was a, it was a deadline. They sent it either the week of the deadline or two weeks before. And they had said that on the contract, it said Bud Crawford and Daniel Kennehan are partners. Now, Bud Crawford has been in Dubai. That's where Daniel Kennehan lives at. Okay, he's ducked off, he hiding, he on the run because, you know, everybody in the world looking for this man. So Bud Crawford has aligned himself with those type of people. And PBC already told you, told them this fight ain't happening if Bud is working with him. So in which Bud admitted that yesterday on the live that, you know, they was checking for that. And he was like, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know who he is and, you know, all this other stuff. Lying. Okay. You're, it's already, the cat is out the bag, all right? And apparently, there's going to be some more proof that shows that, right? Cause, so don't be shocked if you start seeing some proof that, you know, Bud Crawford was working with Daniel Kinahan. I'm telling you, man, this nigga be lying, bro. He just sat on that live and lied. He didn't tell no truths. He didn't, he didn't justify anything, nothing. He just talked for 20 minutes or whatever long it was about nothing. He talked about absolutely nothing. I told y'all, man, this boy is, is the king of cap. He be lying, bro. I told you. But the reason why he went to, did this route with, you know, David Avenesia, he took his ball, he went home because he was mad at the fact that the fight wasn't going his way. Nothing went his way. Go down memory lane. But when 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 Bud put his focuses on Errol. When Errol Spence started getting some shine, Bud was like, hmm, hey, I'll, I'll fight Errol Spence. But, you know, it's going to be 50-50. Errol said no. It's going to be 60-40. Errol said, hmm, possibly. You know what I mean? Errol said 60-40, cool. But then Bud said, no, it's going to be 60-40 my way. Errol said, no, nah, that ain't happen. You know what I mean? So then Bud, no promoter, still trying to work out this day. And he ain't fought all year. He had all year to fight. He had from Jan... Look, Bud fought in November of last year. He had January, February, March, April. He could have fought the same month that Aaron fought. May, June, July. You know what I'm saying? He had all that time to fight or tune up whatever he wanted to do. He didn't do that. He waited till now. And that's because of the fact that... He thought that, huh, I'm going to be able to get my way. Bud is used to getting his way. He's used to getting what he wants. And when he can't get his way, that's when he sit there and he take his ball and he go home. That's the reason why he did what he did. Listen to his tone. Listen to what he's, listen to what he's saying. I'm a boss. L. Spitz is not a boss. L. Spitz has a promotional company. L. Spitz has a as Frank Martin as his fighter. L. Spitz has other fighters side to him. What what does Bud Crawford have? Does Bud Crawford have a promotional company? Don't worry, I'll wait. Don't worry, I'll, does he have a promotional company? Can Bud Crawford sign people right now and front their money? Because a promotional as a promoter, you have to be able when you sign a guy, you have to get him cash advances. Do your homework on what it is to be a promoter. Hold on, y'all. Excuse me. Do your homework on what it is to be a promoter. You got to be able to front them a hundred thousand, a million. 
You got to be able to get that fight or whatever, you know what I'm saying, when you sign him. That's just what it is. Elspeth's got Frank Martin. And he got a list of other fighters that he got signed. A man down promotion. Devin Haney got a promotion in the company. Tank got a promotion in the company. Y'all need to keep going. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, Bud trying to walk around like he a boss and he making all these boss moves, but he ain't he, he ain't no boss. He trying to sit there and say that L. Spence has the answers to Al Heyman. Al Heyman is L. Spence's advisor. And I told y'all in the last video, Al Heyman is an expert in finances. Look what he's done. Look at Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is still a millionaire right now. He was making these moves in boxing. So when he get out of boxing, he squared away. Errol Spitz has said this. Me and Al done had conversations. When I first signed to Al Heyman, we had conversations about life after boxing. And me making investments and things so I can have a life outside of boxing. Because a lot of fighters, when they do the fighting, that's it. Those Bentleys and those big houses that they had, they don't have them no more. They don't have them no more. So like I keep saying, bro, Bud sitting here coming off like he he know what he's talking about. And, you know, he's talking about, oh, they was going to give us whatever guarantee. You would have made more money fighting Arrow. I'm telling you, that $25 million that you got or whatever that they, that, that $10 million that they finna give you, you would have made more than that fighting Arrow. You would have made close to 50 plus with fight Arrow. Because everybody want to see this fight. He don't see beyond that. Bud don't look at the big picture. Bud look at Bud picture. And Bud picture is Bud, Bud want what Bud want. I want my money. These are the things that I talk about in boxing. These are the things that I talk about with this dude, bro. His ego. He, he it, it's not it's not clicking up here. You know what I'm saying? It ain't clicking up here. That's the reason why. If you didn't feel like you did nothing wrong, why did you need to make a video explaining yourself? You wanna know why he made that video? Because he feeling the heat. He know it he know it wasn't solid. He know that. He know he was ducking some smoke. He know that. So he felt the need to explain himself. In which he didn't explain nothing. I told y'all, man. Bud Duck era. I told y'all, and I'm keep telling you this. Actions speak a lot of the words. Boss God.